Welcome back guys. So today I wanted to talk about one of my favorite book, The Four Agreement. And let's start just about the first one. Let's make this video about my perception of the first agreement, which kind of changed my life and how I see it. And if you didn't read the book, you can read it and make your own perception, but I'm gonna tell you what it is. It's be impeccable by your word. We're all gods. We're all creating our own world. We're all creating magic. And this magic happened with the words. So you need to be careful on how to use the word. Let me just read you one sentence of the book that I find really cool. It's, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And what does that mean is we create a reality with words. So when we speak, when we say stuff, we create our own reality with it. Let me explain you what I mean, okay? So there's the you, the real you, like the, um, your awareness, the person that is listening. There's also a voice in your head, which is, which is knowledge, which is let's call it the ego, the person that is talking, the voice that you hear, like your thoughts. They're talking to you, to the real you, and they're creating, um, they're recreating what you see, so your perception of the world. So like humans, we like to create story, we like to create religion, symbols, language, to communicate with each other, but this communication is always just a perception. So we just, um, use the word to create something and communicate with other but it's not the reality it's always your own perception when it when the author says be impeccable by your word it's because you can either create create l on hurt or heaven on hurt so either you use your word to create amazing stuff and positivity or you can use your word to self-destruct and also create hell in your life let me explain you what i mean so when you're a baby you're a clean slave uh, slate, sorry. <laughs> you arrive on the planet and you're just experiencing life. You see things as they are, not as we taught you as they are. So the language. So let's say when you're a baby, you see a chair. You don't know it's a chair yet. So you just see it and it's beautiful and you touch it and you want to you wanna discover the world. Like you don't need symbol. You don't need language in order to be just to be and to be aware. But then um, you you hear language we teach you how to say stuff we teach you what stuff is uh but it's not really what it is it's what human created it's the word that we create in order to um see a perception of creation so let me explain you something let's say i see a horse and you see a horse we see the same thing so the reality is that there's a horse he might be just running around walking whatever and what I see and how I'm going to describe it is a reflection of my own perception and my own creation, my dream. And what you see might be different. We could see the same event and describe it totally, totally differently. You follow me that, right? So you could say, oh, this horse was running and he was slow. And you're just describing it in a way that it's not productive. It's, it's not a nice way. And it's maybe negative. Same thing as, um, if you're just aware and if you're just being, you could see a tree and a tree is just a beautiful tree. It's just a tree. It's there. But then you're going to use the word to create a perception. I could say, wow, I like the palm tree. The palm tree is beautiful, this and that. And you could say, oh, it was a palm tree, but things were falling. It was not nice. It was all dry. Like you see how the same image, the same reality, the same truth, then you recreate a perception with your words which is not reality. You need to understand that everybody create his own reality. So guys, if I'm telling you that you can create your own reality, why would you decide to create hell and hurt? Why would you gossip about other people? Why would you put your emotional poison on other people? Why would you also use the word and creation against yourself? Let me explain you. You are beautiful. You, every human is perfect in his way, but then comes the word and the description and you're going to use the word against you. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not tall enough. I'm not skinny enough. I'm too fat. Or you just keep talking and keep using that poison against yourself. And you also, we also have this tendency that we learn from our parents, that we learn from other people to gossip about other people. So we heard it when we were young. So we catch this 
and human loves to gossip. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why it makes us feel good. It's just the voice, the ego in our head. We love to do it. So 2019, I decided, uh, I think I read the book in October, I decided to start applying this through 2020. Of course, it's not perfect yet. Um, just realizing that you're doing it is a major change and is the first step toward change. And I started to apply this in my life and realized every time I was gossiping about people or using the word against myself, either uh, I don't have enough muscle or this or that, or you could say I'm too stupid. Or when you start to use the word against yourself, you realize it and you're going to change the pattern. Let's say it's been 28 years I was using these words and I was not always being nice on, on how I talk about other people and this and that. But why do, why do you feel the need to talk about other people? Just create, just create positive. If you can use the word to create negative and hell on hurt, why wouldn't you use the word to create heaven on hurt? So why would you not you use the word to say, I'm beautiful, I'm powerful, I'm smart, I'm I'm abundant, like use the word in a positive manner because it's also going to reprogram your subconscious mind, which is 95% re responsible of your action. Like we, we talked in previous video, learn to use the word in order to create something beautiful. And guys, I just want to tell you that um, words are so powerful because they create everything. If I tell you like um, create a horse in your head right now, you're going to create it. But Yours might be brown, my, mine might be black, someone else might be white. And then if I talk to you about a movie, you can see the whole movie, like your brain. The human mind creates a lot of things. Like if we talk about a movie, you're going to see the movie in your brain. And it's always a perception. Sometimes it's not even how the movie really happened and how stuff happened in life. So when the author says, be impeccable by your word, he means that everything that you put out there is also coming back because remember guys we're all in it together it's one consciousness everybody on this planet is a reflection of yourself and we're all one you might not know it yet but we're one consciousness the human are supposed to unite and come together and we're supposed to be love but often we use the word and i say we because i'm not different i also do that and i also used to do it and we're just learning how to become pure love and just working toward using the word and the creation and to make our dream a heaven on earth instead of hell on earth. So I hope this helped you. Uh, I challenge you to do this first agreement. I'm gonna do video for the other agreements. There's three other agreements that are really important. Um, but try this one just for seven days, guys. And then you're gonna do it for 30 days and you're gonna do it for a year. But just for seven days, challenge yourself not to talk about other people, not to gossip. And when you catch yourself doing it, change subject or talk about something else. You're going to see. You think it's easy, but the first time you do it, guys, it's really hard. And if ever you want to talk about a situation, try not to use your emotional poison and not use your word against other people in a bad way. So I see you in other video. I hope you enjoy. Click subscribe, click like on the video. And if you have any comment, make sure to comment below.